Hi, this is Ryan Brown from mockquestions.com. In this video, we'll discuss five Android developer interview questions from our website. We'll go over each question and some advice on how to answer them, along with an answer example. Afterwards, if you found this video helpful, please like and share. That would mean a lot to us. Okay, let's get started. Question number one. How would you describe Android to someone without a technical background? Interviewers will ask you this question for several reasons. The first is to begin the conversation and learn more about your background. How you describe Android will indicate your technical knowledge of this programming environment. They are also interested in your communication skills. Being able to discuss a technical topic with somebody without a technical background demonstrates your ability to collaborate across the organization. This is important to any software development role. Here's our answer example. Android is an open source operating system based on Linux and developed by Andy Rubin. It is used primarily for devices such as cell phones and tablets. The Android operating system competes directly with Apple iOS in this market space. Applications developed by Android will run on a wide variety of platforms with little to no additional formatting. Question number two. What are the earliest and latest versions of Android you have worked with? Like any other operating system, Android has evolved through many different iterations. Each version is designated by a number that can contain up to three decimal places. Each version is also given a nickname such as Cupcake, Donut, Marshmallow, or Oreo. Interviewers will ask you about your experience working with the different versions of Android to understand how long you have been programming in this environment and how familiar you are with each version. Knowing about the pedigree and evolution of the operating system will also increase your programming skills and make you more valuable to the organization. I began working in the Android operating system as early as 2008 with version 1.0, which didn't have a code name. I continued working on versions 2 through 11, which is the latest evolution of the Android operating system. Nicknames for Android such as Gingerbread, Honeycomb, and Jelly Bean were typical for the early versions. However, the nicknames were dropped effective with Android 10.0 released in 2019. Each subsequent version of the Android operating system added additional features making the operating system more effective and easier to work with. Question number three. What steps can you take to avoid application is not responding errors when working in Android? An NAR or application not responding dialog box will appear whenever an application is not responding. There are several reasons that this may occur, and as an Android developer, you should be familiar with these and know how to avoid or correct them. ANR or an application is not responding dialog indicates that there is a problem with the program. These can occur when there is no response after a designated time if a broadcast receiver fills the function within approximately 10 seconds. Ways to avoid this include ensuring that the application uses separate threads to perform operations, which may exceed the wait time limits or using intent service to take the pressure off of user interface threads. Question number four. If an application you developed in Android frequently crashes, what steps can you take to identify and fix the issue? It is exceedingly rare that an application will crash once properly developed, tested, and implemented. However, certain circumstances will cause applications to crash. As an Android developer, you should be aware of these and program your code to avoid them if an application crashes while in production. You should be able to provide advice to the support team or end users to, as to how to fix it. The interviewer will ask you this question to ensure that you are aware of this and have a portfolio of solutions to address application issues. My applications rarely crash. However, I take immediate steps to resolve the issue when it does occur. First, I determine the device on which the application is running and whether it is compatible with the code that I have developed. While Android applications are compatible with most devices, there are a few outliers that may cause problems. Another issue is memory. If the application is competing for the system's memory, CPU cycles, or other shared resources, it may get hung up or crash. Shutting down other applications or clearing the application's cache memory typically resolves this. Question number five. Please describe some of the main features of the Android architecture. 
Being able to describe the main features of the Android architect will demonstrate your competency in this area and your knowledge of the operating system. You can anticipate many questions similar to this one that the interviewer will use to probe your experience and knowledge. Like many operating systems, the Android architecture is composed of various layers known as the Android stack. These consist of the operating system, middleware, and applications. The five layers include the Linux kernel, libraries of open source code, Android runtime, including the Dalvik virtual and Android runtime. Android Framework, which contains the APIs and UI, and the applications, which are what the users are most familiar with. Together, the stack enables applications written for the Android environment to run on a variety of different mobile platforms, including phones and tablets. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, it would be greatly appreciated if you could subscribe to our channel. It really does help motivate us to continue creating videos. Thanks again, and we hope you stick around to watch more interview practice videos for mock questions.